Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and today I'll briefly talk about kindness. Not about kindness as a as an abstract concept, but something that has a practical value in our lives. So I just wrote a blog entry for my website, Kind Coaching, and in that I was trying to explain how kindness, being kind to others, especially to strangers, is a kind of self-care. And I thought I should also maybe record it in this format so that more people could use it. So why do you why do I think that it's a kind of self-care, care of the self, even though apparently it's we taking care of someone else? And for that, you have to go to people who have studied human consciousness, human emotions, or the questions of our individual and social identities. So most of the times, I rely on the work of my former colleague, Mark Brocker, right? But he, of course, relies on works of, of course, so many other people, but he kind of condenses it for us. And the way he discusses it in his book, Radical Pedagogy, is that when we are under anxiety, when our identities are under pressure, when we are in a conflictual situation or in a stressful situation, it's not just something that affects our mind, right? It literally affects our bodies, right? And in that state, there are different kind of responses at our disposal, not most necessarily rational responses. But when our identities are under threat or someone is trying to undermine it or make us feel bad about ourselves, we mostly become angry. We become angry at the person who is doing it or we start feeling bad about ourselves, so we sort of take that anger out on ourselves. So our remedies to that kind of a situation are usually destructive. You know, drugs, alcohol, maybe violence. So kindness, on the other hand, is something that allows us to redirect that negative energy. How? You know? So research has kind of proven that when we are in a state of anxiety or stress, if we go and do something that we consider good, if we go and help someone, or even if we are just nice to a stranger, a bank clerk, a cashier, right, that immediately eases our tension and makes us feel better about ourselves. And because of that, the anxiety and the tension that had built up because of a confrontation or you know, some other encounter with some person who was trying to put you down, that goes away and we feel better about ourselves. So being kind to others then is good to them, of course, right? We always say be nice to others, be kind to others. But we always forget that being kind to others has a self-serving purpose. And that self-serving purpose is that we ourselves feel better. Our identities are strengthened by it. So... You know, there is some truth to all the sayings and wisdom words that we hear from so many different traditions is that sharing of ourselves, right? Um, caring for others, right? In the metaphysical sense, it promises us heaven or, you know, a higher place in afterlife. But in this life, coming through scientific research of our consciousness and how we process stresses and anxieties, it also is, is an ultimate form of inexpensive 
self-care right so next time when someone is mean to you when you are having trouble with some, someone you know at work instead of getting angry about it and keep thinking about it go out into the world and help someone be nice to someone right be kind and generous to someone now those of you who come from the muslim tradition already know it right there is a thing we call sadaqa right and what is that that when you are under hard times you give to someone who might need your help financial or other and you know we used, we still believe that sadaqa is the one who saves you from so many troubles in the world no i you know i'm a humanist but that is one practice that i have still kept every time when i am going through hard times right i do it here but i will also tell someone in my family to go and help someone on my behalf and it makes me feel better right so without belaboring the point too much kindness towards others especially strangers right who might need our help is not just an altruistic act right it also helps us with our own anxieties and fears and stresses so it is the cheapest the most inexpensive but the most rewarding kind of self care i hope this makes sense let me know what you think i would love to hear your views and i will now see you next time with some motivational or educational topic thank you so much and i hope you're taking care of yourself stay safe and as always from me to you peace and love